Hi everyone, today uh, we're talking to our colleague Marina. Hi Marina. <laughs> About Germany, what else? We live and breathe Germany, right? Yep. Uh, you yourself were born there, just yep. remind those which city? Um, so Bavaria, it's a very, very tiny little village um, in the south, pretty much five minutes from Austria near Lake Constance. Um, yep, beautiful place to grow up. Mm. I'm yet to visit. Uh, but I have been to Berlin. I've, I've even been to um, East um, Germany when we were still, you know, that's how old I yeah, was. Yeah, yep. Um, <laughs> but I um, visited Berlin uh, earlier this year and uh, it's, a, it's an amazing city. Um, but, you know, often we come across kind of stereotypes about Germans, you know, sausages, beer, uh, that Germans are super organised. That I can confirm that they are super organised. Um, what is Germany like today? And I know that you haven't been... Um, for a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's um, changed? What What's the climate? What's going on? Well, so firstly, the food's still amazing. So yeah. there's still sausages I, and I can beer. That. <laughs> so nothing wrong with that. No, <laughs> um, love it. But um, so, yeah, I think Germany has, like you said, pretty a little bit of a, you know, like we're straightforward and, you know, but I think that changed a lot. So it's more diverse. Um, it is very diverse, like yeah. on, on the street, in Berlin. Multicultural, Amazing. yeah, especially young generations yes, now. Very open. Yeah, mm -hmm. very open-minded. Mm -hmm. Like um, even when I still grew up over there, like Cologne, it was all very, um, very open-minded. And, um, and I think that's just, you know, developed more and more over mm -hmm. the years um so definitely um lots of lots of different backgrounds in germany now yeah. yeah and um you know those of us that are interested in history can read about it themselves but i think you know you said that you come from bavaria there's like a strong uh, identity with your local regions right in germany yeah like i think <laughs> us bavarians have probably a little bit of a um, bad reputation as in, well yeah <laughs> I no always way. grew up with them um, saying there's Germany and then there's Bavaria. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, because um, we're a bit more, maybe a bit more guarded, probably. Okay. Um, not so much, like, bigger cities, same thing. Munich is really, like, you know, open open to everybody mm. and a beautiful city. Um, but, yeah, the Bavarians are normally a more, like, yeah. Reserved? Reserved, uh -huh, yeah, okay. yeah, a little bit like that. Yeah, okay. but sa same, it, it has changed. Um a lot um yeah since i since i you know grew up there so we are not not as uh <laughs> not as guarded no as um as some people might think um but uh, but yeah so marina recently germany had a uh, change of ca uh, chancellor um angela merkel has moved on um has the change in government made any difference um to the society that you know of um, I think he's a bit more, so Mr. Schultz <laughs> is a bit more, I think, open-minded, especially when it comes to, um, like, the recent uh, sort of developments when it comes to dual citizenship, which is right. something that interests me personally a bit more. Um, so previously Germany was more like, no, we're not so into the dual so citizenship. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. obviously if you you know, German by descent, it's a different story. But yeah. if you, like you say, naturalise in Germany, you uh, most likely would need to renounce your citizenship un unless you have, you know, a very good reason to yes. keep it. Um, which a lot of other countries, you know, like America, other European countries are much more, more open-minded. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And to be honest, why not? Because, um, yes. you know, these days people travel, they work, different companies that have different... Global citizens. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, so this is uh, interesting. He seems to be a bit more for that. They're planning a change in legislation. I read about it Yes, last yes. Night. Um, yes. Yeah, and um, I don't think they have made a decision just yet. It's mainly for people who who live in Germany and then later down the track would like to naturalise. Ah, okay. they, they cut it shorter, the period of time you have to live there. Okay. But uh, it's the right step that, you know, maybe it'll go more into um, dual citizenship for other people that, you know, left Germany. Or, mm -hmm. um, it's a so, bit more flexible. And so he seems open. to be a bit more, you know, I don't want to say modern because so was Angela Merkel, but um, mm -hmm. he has different different types of views. Different way of thinking. And yeah. she certainly put a stamp on, uh, you know, 16 years is a long time. A long so time. She, and she went through a, uh, yeah, a couple of tough times. Yes. So, yeah. So things will probably change a little bit. Uh, but how is the economy doing, uh, do you think? 
I think good. So especially when it comes to um, you know employment. So um, they have a. I think we. I don't know which, in what part of the list we are, but we are. Um, got a lot of um, low employment rate in Germany. So mm -hmm. it's like, I think 2022 was 5.4%, okay. um, which is fairly low for European countries. I mm. think Spain was 13.3%. Oh, so wow. there's a big difference, Massive, yeah. um, which they hope to, you know, further uh, the lower the better. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so great for people who want to get their German citizenship and then move, um, being for, you know, job mm -hmm. reasons, um, or something like that. Um, so that's great. And, you know, a lot of job opportunities. Um, like and I think Germany is still the center of manufacturing to some yeah, extent. Like a lot of engineering Hamburg, jobs. Um, yeah. You know, and it's a country of innovation. I think yeah. there's a lot of technology, um, lots of, um, uh, you know, startups and yeah. people that are in that space to create better efficiencies. And I think, you know, with um, the energy crisis, they're also looking at solutions of how to make Germany a bit more independent. Um, yeah, as far absolutely. As, um, yeah, with the climate sources. change, they mm -hmm. try to really, um, you know, green energy, they're, they're putting a lot of effort into that to, to cutting that down. Um, and yeah, as you said, we, we're quite competitive, the Germans, we love being good at stuff. So which, is, which shows in like, you know, developing and, and um, businesses. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you do have great universities, great art scene, uh, amazing music. Um, all of that is like a great package. So I think the message for people that are listening is that if you do have German heritage, look into it. Um, because one thing about German um, slash European passport is that you can stay there for as long as you want. Wow. Yep. Uh, you don't have to have work permits. You don't need mm -hmm. visas. Um, and the language will come, right? It's not that difficult. It will come. And especially in, in jobs where maybe the companies are, you know, based in another country. It's, yeah. it's very, very diverse and multicultural as in language, English, you know, yeah. and then you just learn along the way. So. What I found was uh, when I was visiting just a few months ago was that a lot of people spoke English as well. That's not to say that you shouldn't learn German, but, you know, like in a big city like Berlin or uh, Munich or whatever, you, you can get by without um, yeah, yeah, being absolutely. very fluent. Let's absolutely. put it Absolutely, yeah. as long as you can say hi and buy and, and smile. order a beer. If in doubt, smile. <laughs> hey, Marina, thank you. That was great. Uh, and again, I encourage everyone to contact Marina if they have any questions about um, German citizenship. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you.